Hey guys, good morning. So today we are going to get a new fence, which I'm so excited for. Oh, I don't want them to see me recording them. I'm not trying to record them. I'm just trying to show you guys our fence now. So it has been several hours and this is what the fence looks like. I don't want them to see that I'm recording, but yeah, they're making some progress out there. It's been an all day process. I feel so bad. They're working so hard. But yeah, I haven't really done much today. Honestly, they were blocking the driveway and I should have ran all my errands when I was already out, but I was like super hungry that I wanted to come home and make pancakes and then I got trapped and I, my dad was like, we can just tell them to move their truck so that you can go, but I felt bad. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. I, I don't really like need to go anywhere. Anyways, um, so I'm going to show you guys I just posted a giveaway on my Instagram. There's gonna be two winners. It ends on Monday, so by the time you guys see this, I think it should still be running. So definitely follow me on Instagram, Juicy Jazz Official. And then I decided to have another giveaway right now for the vlog channel. So I have here the full villain collection from ColourPop. I'm sorry that I don't have it displayed like super cute. I'm gonna package it up in a box and everything, obviously. But yeah, all you have to do is just comment below and just leave me your Instagram or an email and I will pick a winner. And one of you guys can have the full ColourPop Villains collection. Okay, I wanted to mention the saline solution. This is what I've been using to clean up my piercing. I've been getting so many questions about it. So I use this a lot throughout the day, probably like at least five times a day, to be honest. Just with a Q-tip, I will just take it and just apply this all around and inside the nose as well. And then I will go in with some tea tree oil also throughout the day. And especially at night, I like to do this. It feels really cooling and it's just been helping so much especially with like the redness and the irritation and everything that i've had with it so i love this stuff and both of the products you can get them at walmart speaking of that let me clean my piercing now i know it doesn't look like it but it's gotten so much better and even like today a lot of the redness and stuff has gone down so much like i know it still looks a little pink but i'm so happy that it's like finally going down it was like bright red at one point so like I'm so happy. So I have some saline solution on the Q-tip. I literally will just take it and just run it around the area and also inside the nose as well. It feels really good, honestly, and it keeps the area nice and clean. The maintenance of it is not bad at all, but if you keep like doing this, it really helps. Like you have to be consistent with like cleaning it and everything. I also wanted to mention every night before bed, I always make this paste and I will leave the video down below to where I got it from. But basically so many different people were saying to crush up aspirin and tea tree oil. Like if you look up how to get rid of nose piercing pimple, you're going to see like a bunch of different like remedies that you can do at home. None of them were really working for me. This is the only one that I found to actually dry out the pimple. And you can see now like it's not red or anything like obviously it's still there, but but it's gone down so much. I didn't even want to show you guys what it looked like before because it was honestly hideous. But this paste has helped so much. So it's basically just non-iodized salt. You can find it at like Walmart or whatever. And I just take this in like a really small little container like this. Obviously make sure it's clean. I clean this every night before I make the mixture. So you just take the non-iodized salt and you can add water to it. But I found that adding tea tree oil or a little bit of the saline solution helps a lot more versus just water. You just add a little bit in, you make the paste. I'll show you guys how I do it later on tonight. I just wanted to tell you right now. But yeah, you just make it into like a paste type thing. And then you just take a Q-tip and you just apply it. And then you go to bed and it just dries it out so much. Some people said that it takes like two, three days for theirs to like dry out. And some people said that like it completely went away. For me, it's like a really slow process. It's taken probably like, I would say a good week or so for it to get like this, which is really good compared to what it was. But yeah, I definitely recommend it. I will again, leave the video down below. Literally, I'm always doing laundry in every vlog.
so it's Friday, so I decided to treat myself. We got some french fries and some pizza. Mm -mm -mm. I haven't had this in a little while. I was craving it. Okay, so on our pizza, we add a little bit of this freeze-dried basil, and then I just decided to switch it up today and add a little bit of nutritional yeast. This is so good. You can pretty much add this to like anything. These are the nutrition facts on the back. And we like to add it to soup, pasta, and I actually found this at Giant. And then we have our french fries over here. And sometimes we do a little bit of pepper. All right, the fence is all done. We're gonna take Bernard out for the first time. We like took him out before, like without the leash with our old fence, and he like ran next door. So yeah, that's why we had to get a taller fence. Yay, Bernard! Wow, it looks really, really nice. Love it. And that, by the way, that fence is our neighbor's. That's why it doesn't match Avi. Oh. <laughs> Bernard. Hey, Bernard. <laughs> Go, <laughs> Bernard! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to do the food really good. <laughs> Go, Bernard! <laughs> he's like choking. <laughs> he's a fat boy. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. It is the next day. Wearing workout clothes per usual. I'm wearing my Fabletics black leggings that I showed in my last vlog. And then this t-shirt, Ashley gave it to me. It's just like a Nike t-shirt. It says this is my workout shirt. I love it. So I'm gonna wear some sneakers, of course. I'm actually gonna go take my mom's car to get washed this morning because she's on vacation. She's coming home tomorrow and she left me her car. So I'm gonna go wash it for her and that way it's like nice and fresh when she gets home tomorrow and I'm gonna fill up her tank, so. I'm gonna go do that now. It's pretty early. I woke up early and I've been like super lazy literally since yesterday So like I had to get dressed and be productive. So I've really been loving this Laneige lip glowy balm This might be a new favorite. It smells amazing. It feels amazing. It's not sticky I really really love this. I don't know if I love this more than my menthol lip shine mm, I don't know that's tough, but this is really really good and yeah I still have my products here I need to get boxes for them at the post office so I can package them up because I'm gonna be picking the winners on Monday All right So we are on our way to go get something to eat at our favorite spot that I showed you guys a few weeks back in Westchester And um, I actually bumped my nose yesterday, so it's a little It looks a little bit red and crusty and it's crazy because I just told you guys that it was like healing and it was getting better and the redness is going down and then I bumped it last night and now it's red again so there's that between concrete walls there's a place for us where we could go where we could be alone between city lights we don't have to hide I want to go do you want to follow So I went to a few different stores. I'm gonna show you guys what I got surprisingly I didn't get a lot It's like I actually wanted to go shopping like for new clothes because I had gift cards still for my birthday like from Target and TJ Maxx and the one time I'm actually like looking for clothes. They didn't have like anything So I'll just show you what I got. I literally got like two things from each place I went to Ulta just to pick up some lashes that I need for a video I just got these so I got the kiss triple push-up collection lashes in brassier I got the lash couture in chiffon. I also got <laughs> these are basically all kiss kiss lashes Couture Fifth Avenue collection. These are in the style. I don't know how to pronounce that. Grandeur. And then I also got the Ilora and Vegas Nay Luxe collection. These are the bronze beauty lashes. So I actually have 6,000 points at Ulta, which is crazy. So I used some of them today and I got these lashes for like $2.50, which is crazy. So definitely rack up on your points because it's always fun to be able to save them up and then use them like for purchases like this. So 
got that from Ulta. That's literally all. And I don't know what happened. Well, nothing happened, but <laughs> TJ Maxx switched their bags. So now it's Sierra, shopsierra.com. So that's different. I got another nightgown from TJ. What else is new? This one's like really cute and very soft material. I've tried this brand before. It's Laura Ashley. That's the brand. And I have another nightgown just like this, except it's just a different color. But I love it. It's like super soft, especially after you wash it and everything. So this one just has like a girl on it with some shopping bags and a little dog. I thought that was super cute. And it was only $10. So love it. You guys know I love my nightgowns. So I got this one in a size small. And then I just got this super basic like white shirt. I have the same one in black. It just goes with everything like jeans or like a jean jacket or something. And it was only $6. I got it in a medium. And the brand is Ambiance. Ew, I need to get my nails done. Don't mind them. But yeah, that's all I got from TJ Maxx, surprisingly. And then from Target, I'm just now realizing that I left the shorts that I actually wanted. So I need to exchange these because these are way too big. These are in a size large. The ones that I got, or I thought I got, were in a size medium. So I'm gonna exchange these probably tomorrow, but the brand is Wild Fable. These fit really, really cute. Like I said, obviously these are not my size, but they fit really, really nice. They're very comfortable, they're not too short, and they're just like a traditional high-rise acid wash short, and I love them. So they were only $17, which I thought was pretty good because Target usually is pretty pricey with their clothes, so I thought that was a steal. So I'm gonna exchange those tomorrow. I also did get this Gold Bond Eczema Relief Moisturizer. I'm gonna see if this is gonna work. I have a flare-up on my back right now, and I really don't wanna go to the doctor, so I'm gonna try to hopefully tame it with this stuff, and if it doesn't work, I'll make an appointment, but... Yeah, I've never tried this before. At least I don't think so. And I've heard good things about it. So we're going to give that a shot. And the final thing that I got are these really cute sandals. And these were, what's how much? Oh, yeah. And I got them in a size 10, by the way, because I felt like they ran pretty small. Like, I'm usually a size 9. But I don't know. I felt like my foot was kind of, like, crunched in here when I tried them on in stores. So... Um, these were only $12.99, so they're just super cute, basic sandals. So that is my little haul. That's everything that I got. I also did order a pair of sneakers. I'll insert a picture of them. I got them from Famous Footwear, but they didn't have my size. They're Adidas, and they're for working out, and they were seriously the comfiest shoes ever. And I tried them on, and I was like, oh my god, these feel amazing. And like I said, I'm usually a size 9, but those I felt like ran a little bit big. So I ordered a size 8.5, and, and they're going to come to my house, and it's like free shipping and everything. Yeah, they were $70, and I'm a rewards member with Famous Footwear, so I got $5 off. And then I used the app Retail Me Not, and I got another $10 off. So I got them for $55, which I thought was great. All right, I'm about to have a little snack. I'm craving something salty. So I have these tortilla chips that I got from Walmart. And then this salsa is actually really good. It's from the brand Simply Nature, the organic thick and chunky salsa, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO. I found this at Aldi. It is pretty spicy. And typically I don't love spicy foods, but I love like the kick with like chips and dip. I love it. So I'm going to have a few of these. Those chips and salsa are very, very spicy, but I like it. I had a little bit of um, OJ with it too because sometimes I just don't want water. I want like, you know, like something thick, like juice. And I used to be addicted to iced tea, so I don't buy that anymore, but we always buy OJ. So I usually will have like a glass of that sometimes whenever I want something like besides water. So you don't care, but I'm still going to tell you anyway. Bernard, he always has to get right in the middle of us. You fat little boy. What is it? Remember Ted Bundy? The serial killer? Oh, yeah. Is the, uh, I guess, the movie based on his life. Oh, wow. Starring uh, Zach Efron. Hey. <laughs> okay, so we are going to watch the, what is it called? Oh, yeah. oh, Extremely yeah. Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile. It's a long title. <laughs> I know. All right, let's see if it's good. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how I make this like paste that I use to dry up my nose pimple that I have like around my piercing. So I just have the non-iodized salt in this container right here. I kind of like crushed it up a little bit. So in the video, which I will link down below as I mentioned, she did actually just use water. But I like to add a little bit of tea tree and a little bit of the saline solution just because I feel like it works a little bit better. And it's just, I don't know, it's more potent that way. So, I mean, feel free to do whatever you want, whatever works for you. But I just found this to be the best method for me personally. So you literally just need like a little bit. You basically just want to put this in until it creates like a paste. And I'm going to add a little bit of this 
saline solution just like a little a little bit and then just take a q-tip and kind of just mix it all around try to do this with one hand but yeah you once you mix it all around it just creates like a paste and then you just apply it to your nose go to bed and you're good to go